uh, we dive into our question 26 we have it right there that is uh, solve for x in the equation log 3 base x plus log 27 base x is equals to 2 so we are supposed to find the value of x and once we are able to find the value of x then we'll have solved the question and uh, remember that this is a question that has been extracted from the uh, daily mathematics challenges and solutions which is the uh, RKCSC revision booklet and now we'll be diving into the question 26 of it um, Actually if you wish you can actually do attempt the question then after you do attempt the question then you can uh, Really come back and watch the solution of the question. Yeah, but the good thing is uh, to always make sure that as you watch you are really noting down something uh, so it is always really good to follow along with a pen and uh, a piece of paper and uh, possibly if need be a calculator so we have got a very awesome question over here that is a uh, log 3 base x plus log 27 base x is equals to 2 and now we are just supposed to find the value of x just to find the value of x and uh, the question is actually worth the remarks i believe that is uh, quite fair enough for the question yeah and once you look at the question you know mostly we are used uh, to questions like uh, log 5 plus log 10 is equals to something over here then find you know or rather log x log x plus log 10 is equals to five you know when the base is not taken the base is always assumed to be to base 10 but now here on our case what we have is that we have been given the base as x and uh, we don't know the value of x therefore we don't know the value of the base of these logarithms and uh, our work and uh, our challenge is to find to which these logarithms we are uh, we are put into what base and uh, that is uh, what we'll be doing right now and uh, normally what we'll do is that we'll just apply the formulas that we know we we'll just use the laws of logarithms that we know for this one we look at uh, which law of logarithm we can uh, really try to apply here yeah whenever you've got a plus we remember about the multiplication addition law that is uh, whenever you've got something like log a plus log b this one is equals to log a b why because we do multiply the logarithms and then we change the sign over there and uh, we put now these ones together we put it as log then we multiply the first element with the second element to get log a b and uh, that is the same principle that we are going to apply right here in our question uh, yeah let me remove that one because we don't necessarily need it much so what once we apply that law of uh, addition and uh, multiplication what you are going to get here is uh, log 3 multiplied by 27 i believe that you can see where the 3 is coming it is coming from here and 27 is coming from here and now remember that uh, we had the bases x then on the right side we've got a 2 therefore we do 3 times 27 uh, to see what you are going to get 3 times 27 that is uh, 7 times 3 that is 1 then 3 times 2 that is 6 plus 2 we get 8 therefore it is 81 on the right side we've got is equals to 2 therefore we are getting that log 81 to base x is equals to 2 Oh, I believe that now the question is becoming more friendly to us because now we don't have a lot of things. We've got uh, only a very simple equation to us because we have now been able to reduce it into some simpler terms over there. So having this in mind, uh, we know that 81, uh, we can be able to transform it into some other numbers. There's nothing much we can do about the base there's nothing much we can do about the, the left side but this one i believe we can really try to transform it to some other number because we know that 81 is the same as 81 is the same as 3 to power 4 and uh, here we have log 
the root power 4 to base x. So what we, ju we have just substituted is a 81 and I replaced it with a 3 to power 4. And now I believe that you do remember the law of logarithm that whenever you've got uh, something like a log a to power b, this one is the same as b log a. So what we usually do is that we usually drop the power down. So even for this case, we can really uh, drop the power down over there. And once we really uh, get to drop the power down over here, what we are going to get is that we are going to get 4 log 3 base x is equals to 2. Well, the question is becoming much more better because now we can divide by 4. We can divide by 4 and see what we get. Once we divide by 4, we get that log 3 base x is equals to here we can divide by 2 to get 1, divide by 2 to get 2, so it's equals to a half. So that implies so far what we have is a log 3 base x is equals to a half. Well, having this in mind, um, on the left side there's nothing much we can do to log 3x. There's nothing much we can do to it. But on the left side, I believe we can try to introduce something that have got an x as the base. You know, whenever you've got something like a log 10, base 10, this one will always give you 1. Or rather, whenever you've got something like log 3, uh, base 3, this one will always give you 1. Essentially, what that implies, whenever you've got log x, uh, base x, this one will always give you a 1. So we can multiply this one by 1. However, we are not going to write multiply by 1, but we are going to write, or rather we are going to write log x base x. So we write it like that. Yeah, so that we continue making the question more solvable and uh, in order to be able to crack it. So once we have this one, uh, that is uh, log x or, or rather log 3 base x is equals to now for this one remember that we had applied this law somewhere here this law we are going now to apply the reverse of this law that is uh, whenever you've got a number let's say b b log a this one is the same as log a to power b this is uh, a law that we should uh, really be conversant with because it is a uh, usually tested a number of times but uh, it is so easy to get it that is uh, whenever you've got a number that is preceding log it can always be taken to the power of the number that comes after the log that is a uh, log x to base x therefore this a half can be raised to this x over there well having this we can see that you've got uh, log something base x log something base x so that implies for the left and the right side to be equal, then these values which are here, this value over here, and this value over here, these values must be equal so that the whole equation is correct. So in, a, in other words, what that implies is that 3 is equals to x to power a half. We can start with x, therefore x to power a half is equals to 3. And now finally to get the value of x, what we just do is uh, just to square the left side and uh, whatever you do to the left side, you must always do it to the right side. So once we, we square x to power a half, uh, this 1 over 2 dies off and this 2 dies off and now we remain with x is equals to 3 squared. And 3 squared definitely that one is equals to 3 times 3 which is 9. And now we go back to the question and we find out what the question was asking about. Uh, the question was uh, saying solve for x. And uh, from what I can see is that we've uh, already solved for x and uh, we have found that x is equal to 9. And uh, if you got that as the solution, as the answer, then you really deserve to get all the 4 marks. Provided that you followed all the mathematical laws, you followed all the... Uh, principles or the laws of uh, logarithms yeah without violating them so uh, i believe that uh, logarithms and uh, indices is uh, 
very nice topic it's a very fancy one it's uh, something that is uh, so fun so enjoyable to solve yeah so you can just keep checking for more questions that are uh, regard to uh, that indices to those logarithms yeah so that you can uh, really continue comprehending matters regarding to logarithms and uh, indices yeah but for now from my side i believe that the question is uh, well settled